Hi everyone, this is Robin the Pink Stamper, and yes, I have the new Stand and Salute Cricut cartridge in my hands right now. This cartridge is not going to be available, I think, until the end of this month. I'm not sure exactly the release date on this, uh, but I do have it. Uh, Provo Craft sent it to me to try out and to show on my blog and to make some videos with it. So I'm going to just play around with it a little bit for you. And the first thing I'm going to mess around with is the, the American flag. There's a few different options here. I really like the different feature keys. You can make note cards, dog tags, frames, borders, um, and then there's shadow and blackout. There's two different flags here. You can do the regular flag and then just use the shadow or the blackout feature. Or you can press one button, but you have to use three different color cardstock pieces of cardstock. So you have to do it three different times and then you layer it, which means you can't make as big of an American flag with it. So what I'm going to do is use the blackout button and I have my, I have a, a 12 by 24 mat in here and I have a piece of white poster board because I didn't have any 12 by 24 white and it's not even um, 24 inches long, it's only about maybe 21 inches long. So I'm going to press my multi-cut because it's a little bit thicker and I want to make sure by pressing your settings button and hitting OK, OK, you can see where your multi-cut is, two, three, or four, and it's on two, that's where I want it. OK, press your settings. And now I am going to, I have it on my blackout, I'm going to hit fit to page and press my button. And now I want to make sure uh, that this knows that I have a 12 by 24 mat in, because right here it says mat size 12 by 12. So I hit my mat, <laughs> It has to unload it. Press your mat size. Okay, now it says 24 inches. Perfect. So now I'm going to move my key down here, my blade down here. Set paper size. It's 21 inches long. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to press cut, and it says it's going to cut it 11 and a half inches, which is just perfect. And multi-cut, it's going to cut it two times. I hope it's... Now when you're using the 12 by 24 paper, you have to make sure that you have plenty of room. And I'm probably not using it on a big enough table right now. And I hope this didn't mess it up. Okay, you know what? Actually, I think it would have worked not even having it on multi-cut. So I can just unload the paper here. And I'm kind of screwing. I'm gonna hit stop, unload my paper, and I have it. Ta-da! All right, now I have my 12 by 24 red paper and I bought this paper in, I didn't buy it, actually Provocraft sent it to me to mess around with these new videos. It um, comes in a pad and it's the 12 by 24 and I wish I would have bought it sooner because I've needed it a few times. So what I'm going to do now is just make sure that you take off the multi-cut button, take off the fit to page button. And I'm going to lean across here for a second and I'm going to set my size to 11 and a half, 10 and a half, 11 and a half, Take off my blackout button, and I can just hit repeat last. Make sure that my flag comes up here, and it does. So here we go. Ah. Hmm. Oh, you know what happened here? Okay. You have to press your mat size again. I guess that happens every time. Um, so if it says characters won't fit, and you know they will fit, check your mat size, because you might not have it on the right setting. So repeat last. Here we go. Now it's cutting out the cute flag. And I'm so excited. This is going to be such a fun cartridge to play with. If you've noticed that I've changed my table, I mean I've changed my my expression, so now I have room on my table because when you're using a 12 by 24 mat, you want to make sure that you have room for it in front of it and you have room for the mat behind it. You don't want it hitting running into a wall and you also don't want it coming off in front of you because that will really mess up the paper and it'll get stuck in there like what just had happened with the white paper. So this is going to be a fun, fun cartridge and I am so grateful that I have the opportunity to try it out. So hopefully this gets you excited if you have any requests. Um, I don't have anyone in the military. My husband uh, just uh, retired from, well not retired, he was in it for three years in the Air Force as an officer. So I do have some of those pictures to scrap, but I really don't have a lot of experience on uh, what kind of things you would be scrapping. 
with this cartridge that are military related. So if you have any ideas, feel free to uh, email me at the pink stamper contact at yahoo.com. And um, that would be awesome. I'm also going to use this cartridge for some 4th of July pictures that I just had, um, whatever the word is. I can't even think right now. Oh, this is just so cute. Okay. So I have this, and this will go perfect on top of my white poster board. And then I, for this one, I am just going to, if you can see it, let me back it up a little bit here. Okay, here's my big flag. And for this part here, since I kind of did it a little bit different, I wanted to make it bigger, I'm just going to measure this here. And then I can just put a piece of blue, so I'm going to do that next. And then I'm just going to put one star in the middle. Okay, for my star, I'm going to have to use a completely different button. And this star has um, some texture on it, so you could use that, or you could use this one that's hollowed out. But if you look over here, it's so good to check out your shadow and blackout, because sometimes they'll be exactly what you're looking for. So I'm going to actually use the shadow on the star button. So I'm going to press, press the shadow, and I'm going to press the star. And I just measured, and I think I'm going to make my star four inches. I'm going to press the real size button, so I make sure that um, it is exactly four inches. And I'm going to make it change my dial here, and press cut. And that looks perfect, so I'm going to put this together for you. Okay, here's my flag. It's just ready to put down with adhesive. And you can also add texture if you want to your star, or add some bling, or add saying, uh, saying on here, whatever you'd like. This is a 21 inch star by 11, I mean flag, by 11 and it's uh, 11 and a half. So this would be great if you have vinyl, this would be great to cut out in vinyl and put on your wall, or something like that. So this is my first project with Stand and Salute. Hope you enjoyed it, have a great day.